Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel and peace all are, hope you all are doing. So this video is for those people who are aspiring to do their MTech in AI. So GATE 2024 exam is over and since there was a new DA paper introduced this time for GATE, I know many of you are actually planning to do your MTech in AI discipline or machine learning discipline. So in this video, I'll talk in detail about that what are the opportunities you have if you are planning to do your MTech in AI. Specifically, what are the IITs and IIC which is offering exclusively I am taking AI curriculum or MTK AI degree? Uh, what are their admission procedure? And in final part of the video, I'll talk about that if you are not able to get admission in MTK in AI in any of these IITs and IIC, still how can you build your career in AI and machine? So that will be the content of today's video. So if you are interested and know everything in detail, please stay tuned this video till end. And before starting the video, as I always say. If you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when you upload new kind of videos, you will get a notification and don't forget to hit the like button if you have liked Without any further delay, let's start into today's week. So first, I will go through different IITs and ISC website to check whether they are offering MTech in AI or not. And if they are offering, what is their requirement, what is their admission criteria, that I am going to discuss in detail. Yeah, so first we will talk about Indian Institute of Science or IIC Bangalore. Uh, so I hope you all know that IIC is offering explicitly MTech in AI since 2019. And you know, if you go to their MTech or MBS program page, there is a uh, separate space explaining the detail about MTech in AI. Uh, so the discipline name, as you know, it's AI or Artificial Intelligence. And the department center or unit which is jointly conducting uh, this MTech in AI curriculum is Electrical Engineering Department, Computer Science and Automation or CSA Department, Computational Data Science or CDS Department, Electrical Communication Engineering or EC Department, Electronic System Engineering Department, and finally Robert Bob Center for Cyber Physical Systems. So these are the six departments on center which is jointly conducting MTech in AI curriculum each year in ISC Bangalore. And if you join ISC Bangalore as an MTech AI student, uh, you will be allotted any of the uh, any one of these six uh, department or center. So total number of student intake this time it is 33 uh, and the qualification that is needed is you know you have to have a B or B.Tech degree or an equivalent degree or maybe a MSc degree maybe two years of an integrated program four year BS for BS research or equivalent uh, you know master's degree in math and statistical degree with a valued gate score in in these four gate paper that is computer science or IT that is CS paper DA paper that is data science and AI paper. EC, paper and electrical paper. So you have to crack gate with a very good gate score in any of these four papers. And also one more requirement is that candidates should have done some formal course in programming in P and P++. The selection process is 70% based on gate score and 30% will be written test. Now here in the written test, they will ask you some coding question on P and P++ and that's why you should know about C and P++ so that you can do well in this in this written test which has a weightage of 30. Now the area of study um, you know that you will do in this uh, MTech in AI program in IIS is uh, digital signal processing, machine learning, pattern recognition, computer vision, graphics, stat statistic system, multimedia, real time and uh, fault tolerant system, sensor network, e-commerce, speech processing, real time signal processing and embedding system. So this is the overall, you know, kind of a summary about, uh, you know, how this uh, MTech in AI program or curriculum is designed in IIT Bangalore and what is the uh, requirement and what is the selection procedure. Next is IIT Kharagpur. So if you remember that a couple of weeks back, I, I uh, you know, I posted in my community uh, in the YouTube that IIT Kharagpur is also offering MTech in AI this thing uh, from 2024. And that is offer offering by Center of Excellence in AI. Uh, which has recently, you know, kind of established in IIT for a pool from 2018. And they are actually offering MTEC program where they are uh, choosing students again from DA paper, CS paper, EC paper, electrical paper, similar to ISC Bangalore. And uh, this was a poster that is posted in their LinkedIn page and from there I copied and posted in the wide uh, community. So I have checked their web page, uh, but in their web page, uh, I have I have a search about the different programs. But as of now, there is no mention about MTEC in AI. So there is a mention about interdisciplinary dual degree program in AI and machine learning. Uh, this is for uh, the, the 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 UG program and BTEC students who want to do their dual degree uh, MTEC program as well. So for them, they are offering uh, this program where they are taking 40 uh, students. 
and there is a micro specialization for BTEC students in AI machine learning that also they are offering. But you know, I hope you know they haven't still updated about the MTech. But you know, as they posted in their LinkedIn, um, so most likely, you know, most likely there will be a MTech program and the update will be coming on soon. So whenever the update will come, I I separate video on that. But yeah, whatever they are offering is you know first two semester there will be a uh, lot of subjects, lot of courses that you have to credit like. Uh, like as you mentioned in the post term, that in the first semester there will be two subjects and two labs from the core uh, part, uh, that is core machine learning in a part, and there will be two electric subjects that you can take, and one in the uh, interdisciplinary subject that you can take. In the semester two also there will be some core subject labs and MTech project that will be going on, and also some elective elective subject you can take. And the third and fourth semester there will be two. Uh, MTech project that you can do, and in the third semester you can do even in, uh, summer internship. There are total three MTech project that you can do if you are you know pursuing this particular curriculum, which is really great. And different subject that is uh, that they are trying to uh, cover, uh, like AI ML basic subjects, theory of AI. Then there are a lot of applied subjects also like visual computing, robotics, and there will be three labs uh, because you know in the first semester you have to take two labs, and the second semester you have to take one lab. So there will be three labs. Data engineering lab, machine learning lab, and deep learning lab. Next is ERD School of Artificial Intelligence in IIT Delhi, which is again one of the leading uh, school of AI machine learning, which is doing today to research in India uh, in different areas of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So if you just go to their webpage and check uh, the join us tab, so they are taking prospective MTech students and MTech research students. Uh, so if you just go to uh, MTech student, uh, and then you you can see their admission procedure. So basically, they have, um, they have this criteria that you should have a valid B Tech or B degree or an equivalent degree in science and engineering. Uh, then you should have a valid eight score. Uh, so that will be the first stage uh, because candidates are uh, shortlisted uh, based on these these criteria. And the second st uh, stage, there is a written test that the shortlisted candidate has to appear. Uh, so written test is five section, uh, general aptitude, mathematics, statistics, data structure, algorithm, machine learning, and programming. Uh, so you can find the syllabus and the materials here in this particular link. And you know, then you know the final offering of admission via gate exam mode will be based on gate score and the performance of this written test having a 70-30 weightage issue. Similar to ISC, 70% weight is given to the gate uh, rank or gate score. And 30% will be based on your performance in the written test. So yeah, you know, this is this is how overall the admission process for MTech student and for MTech research student, uh, it's slightly changed uh, because the the, the shortlist uh, candidate based on some pre-approved shortlisting criteria. Um, so that is not clearly mentioned here. I mean, whether it's based on gate score or any other thing that we'll be looking for. In the second test, there will be a written test. And finally, there will be an interview in the third test. So based on your performance written test, you'll be called for interview and how you perform in the interview. Uh, based on that, you'll be selected for MTech research or MTech or, or, or MS program. So this is kind of the overall uh, overview about the MTech program in the IIT degree. Next is uh, IIT Bombay. Uh, so I'm not sure whether they are at all offering uh, MTech in AI or data science. So they have also uh, this uh, center for machine learning, machine intelligence, and data science that is new minds. Uh, so I have visited their web page and I have checked uh, their academic stem. So I can see that as of now they are only offering uh, PhD in data science and AI and MS. That means AM Tech by Research or MS in data science and AI. Um, but you know there is no mention about M Tech in AI. Uh, so you know I'm not sure whether they are offering M Tech in AI as of now, but you know, as far from the web page, uh, I can see they are only offering PhD and MS program. Uh, so I'm not sure if anyone know a detail about it, please let me in the comment section or I'll try to gather more information about it. And if I get to know that they are offering anything like M Tech in AI program you know, for M Tech students also, uh, so that I'll, I'll, I'll make a separate video on that. The next IIT I'll be talking about is IIT Guwahati. Uh, so they have the Center for Intelligence Cyber Physical System, which is offering MTech in AI for quite a long time. Uh, so specifically, the, the degree name is MTech in Robotics and Artificial Intelligence. Uh, so it's a four-year semester program with 11 courses that you have to do in the first two semesters and followed by two projects that you have to do in 
um, the, 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 the third and fourth semester. And, uh, you know, there are total 40 states, uh, 24 regular category and 24 sponsor category. That means from different R&D labs or other industry, people are coming and doing their sponsored MTEC. And, uh, you know, the, the criteria is that you should have a valid uh, degree, be a body equivalent degree and a valid grade score. And, yeah, I mean, the details are mentioned here about the admission criteria here, so we can have a look here. Uh, so the subject that you have to take, that detail is mentioned here in the first semester, you have to take AI, Fundamentals of Robotics, uh, Robot Design Laboratory, Programming Laboratory, and two elective courses. In semester two, you can you can choose Robot Sensing Vision, Machine Learning, and three elective courses. In semester three, you you have to take a technical writing course and, uh, you know, uh, one project. Uh, the phase one will be done in the semester three and phase two will be done in the semester four. So IIT Guwahati is also offering uh, this MTK AI program, which uh, which is a good opportunity for you. Yeah, so these are different IITs which is explicitly offering an MTK AI program for the uh, you know aspiring students this year. Specifically, IIC, IIT Kharagpur, uh, IIT Delhi, and IIT Guwahati. I am sure about that they are offering MTK AI program. I am not sure about IIT Bombay whether they are offering from the center of uh, you know machine intelligence and. Uh, data science that they are offering any kind of um, MTK in AI program. So I'll try to get the more information about it. And if I found anything, I'll be sharing with you. And apart from that, other IITs also like IIT Kanpur, IIT Madras, or the middle tier IITs like IIT Patna, IIT Hyderabad. So I'm not sure about whether they are uh, offering any kind of MTK in AI program. I have heard something about IIT Madras that there is a new school or center for AI, AI or machine learning that is being opened up. But I didn't find any anything regarding MTK in AI program there, so that's why I haven't mentioned about it in this video. So I'll try to gather more information about it, and if I get to know about it, I'll obviously share with you in a separate video, maybe. Finally, if you couldn't, you know, make it to this MTK in AI program that is especially offering by IIC and these different IITs, then also you shouldn't be worried about because you know I understand the competition is very tough because only few IITs are offering and IIC is offering this MTK in AI program and. There are many students who are actually thinking that they have to do their MTEC in AI program. So obviously all of you, though you you you, you may have a very good GATE score, but still it, it, it may happen that you are not getting these MTEC in AI program in these IITs and ISC. But then also you shouldn't be worried about, you know, if you have a good GATE score in your core branch like CS, EC, Electrical, you just join different IITs and ISC in your core branch. And, you know, start crediting uh, different machine learning based course as your elective courses. Because as you can see, in, in different IITs, there are a lot of elective courses that you can do during your MTech curriculum. And you just choose machine learning related courses as your elective courses. And, and try to learn about machine learning, try to build about machine learning skill set. And then, you know, in all the departments in IITs nowadays, there are a lot of professors who are working in machine learning and AI. Because AI in machine learning is used in almost every subdomain of science and engineering nowadays. So that's why many professors who are working in AI and machine learning in all the departments. So if you start working with them as your final year or MTech thesis project, then also you'll be learning a lot about machine learning projects and machine learning domain. So for example, you know, if you can't get a MTech in AI, you can simply join MTech in CSE if you have a good get score in CSE. And you start creating machine learning based uh, based courses, and as your final year project in CSE department, you, you choose one of the on the professors, and you start working with them. Because most of the time, these different school of AI professors are coming from the CSE, C electrical only. So, uh, which are the professors who are working in AI and machine learning? They are part of their core department, and as well as AI. So that is the scenario in all the IITs and ISC. You can you can have a look into these web pages that I just shown you, and see the professors there. You will find most of our professors are coming from the core branches like CSE, C Electrical. So if you join the core branches and start working with them, there is no difference. So that's what that you have to do that even if you are getting a core branch um, admission, start working with the professors who is working in AI and machine learning. Start learning uh, different different aspects of machine learning, different skill set of machine learning. And then during the placement, you just showcase your skill and you'll be getting uh, you know, selected by different product-based companies as the data scientist roles. So there is no, not much difference about doing specifically MTech in AI or doing uh, MTech in different core branches. Even if you are not getting MTech in AI branches, still you can do your 
masters in core branches and be a data scientist in future so yeah that's it guys that's it about this video i hope this video will be helpful for all the students who are aspiring for uh doing their mtech in ai and machine learning and i've tried to give you a detailed explanation about different opportunity that you have different iits which is offering mtech in ai and machine learning and even if you are not getting an mtech in ai how can you build your career in uh, data science and machine learning i have explained in this video so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and share this video to other people as well and if you are new to this particular channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that when i upload new kind of videos you will get instant notification that's it about this video. I'll meet you in the next video. Until then, bye.